for our LEGO Robotics build this week, we are going to build an automated snack stand. This is a stand that will use the color sensor and a motor working together to deliver customer orders without needing to have anybody working the counter. Let's build it. This is Daniel. He's very sad. He dropped his snack. Daniel is still hungry. He wants to get another snack from the snack stand. We're going to build the snack stand so that Daniel can get another snack. All right, we're going to start off with the big white base. And on both sides of the base, we're going to be putting some of these flat green pieces. Next, we're going to add a couple of yellow pieces and just line them up with the front. Looks like we put a gap of two pegs. Now it looks like we're building some red pylons on top of those yellow bricks. And on top of those, we'll put a few round green pieces. Oh, this is going to be a fantastic snack stand, something that is going to serve delicious treats at our Spratronics Bakery. Let's see, we attach this green beam across the top and then an orange flat piece on either side. And then to really complete the front of our stand, we are going to have these sloped red pieces that make a nice little awning to shade our employee. Looks like they should hang over by about just one. So they meet in the middle and they both hang over just a little bit. There's that little bit of hangover on the side. And then to bring it all together, we'll put a little orange cone on top and we should add put a little orange cone on top and then we should be able to add a nice little flag so everybody knows where they can go and get their snacks. Now that we have the front of our stand built, we need to build the track to deliver the desserts when somebody orders them. So we've got these long green beams and we're gonna attach the other big white base plate. I press down on those real good all the way across to make sure they're in place. Excellent. And then we need this track to go just a little bit farther. So we will use our blue beams. And you may see some dough on my fingernails. We just finished baking some bread for our Spratronics Bakery. And so that might be one of the treats that our snack stand is able to sell is fresh baked bread. Now we have the hub and we all remember that the hub is the brains of our operation. This is the thing that holds our code that gives power to the motors and to the sensors and talks to the computer to beam our code back and forth. So we put four Technic connector hubs down there, and then we're gonna set our hub with the inputs facing the snack stand and the button and light on the back end. We're gonna use two of these beams and we're gonna hold them together with one of the green plates right on top. And then at the end of that is going to be our serving platform. That's using one of our purple round pieces. And we want this to slide really easily along our path. So we're gonna put some slide plates on the bottom. Slide plates are a great tool to get things to move smoothly across different surfaces. And finally, we need a serving plate at the end. And this is where our food is gonna end up to be delivered to our customer. Now we're ready for our motor. And so our motor is gonna look like this and we're gonna use a short four long axle to go right inside of it. And then on the end of that axle, we're gonna put one tire and then a second tire. And we're using two tires because those are gonna get some really good grip as they go along our base plates. And then on the back end of our motor, we're going to put two black peg pieces and they go in these top holes. Just like that. And then attach a purple beam to those. And then we can attach all of this onto 
our serving platform. So now this can fit right in here. Looks like one wheel is gonna be hanging off the side and this is gonna plug into port A. And it'll just roll right along this track and serve meals at the end of the snack stand. All right, now we need a way for a customer to place an order. And rather than having somebody work at the front, we are gonna use a color sensor. And at the end of this color sensor, we're gonna put two of our Technic connector hubs, and we're gonna turn the whole thing around, and we can attach our color sensor right here. And we will plug this into port B on our hub. So now we have a color sensor that can watch and listen for people placing an order. And then we have a motor that can deliver their order once an order is placed. Now we need something for them to order. And this looks like a hamburger to me. So we are gonna use two orange circle pieces with a green hub connector piece in the middle. And then we'll smash the burger down on top. And this could be a hamburger or a piece of pumpkin pie, whatever you'd like it to be. And just to practice, we'll set it on our tray. We need to get Daniel out here to place the order. And he is ready to order something. And maybe we'll give him this little blue piece. All right, now we're just going to use the spike essential programming language to code this so that whenever Daniel comes up with a blue plate or any color, different foods can be brought out to him and then we'll code it so a red plate sends the food back. Let's check it out. I've made a snack machine that can immediately deliver any food that Daniel needs by taking a card and handing his, him his food. Order up, grab a sandwich. So Daniel can easily get any food and immediately know how much it costs by using the graph on the computer. Red that sends it back. Thank you for ordering and have a great day. And he also can order rock candy for black. Here's your rock candy. Thank you for ordering and have a great day. Every time he orders something, the chart goes up one more. So we can go red, blue, yellow, and every time the chart will go up one. 